Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Edge Insight CS2 Comprehensive Gauge Display. Whether you're a car enthusiast that's added a lot of aftermarket performance parts onto their vehicle, or you just want to monitor your vehicle's performance day to day or while towing a trailer, the Edge Insight CS2 Comprehensive Gauge Display might be the solution for you. Now this gauge display isn't actually going to change any of the settings for your vehicle, it is only just a monitor. So it's only going to show you exactly what your vehicle is performing at, but it can be paired with other edge tuners or other certain aftermarket tuners so that you can get some advanced data and actually see what that tuner is doing to your vehicle. This monitor has a 2.4 inch high resolution full color screen. It comes with six button control with a directional D-pad to make it super easy for you to go through all of the settings and can display up to eight parameters at once. All right, as we're driving around, you got a couple of different things you can monitor there. You got your RPMs, your miles per hour, your miles per gallon, and then you've got two different temperatures. We have our uh, air intake temperature as well as our engine temperature. So these are all good things to monitor, especially while you're towing a trailer. Maybe if you have some heavy equipment on there, you might be pushing your engine a bit too much. Maybe you need to make some other modifications to make sure that your truck can safely and easily tow that trailer. Installation of this monitor is super simple. It is just one cord to plug into your OBD2 sensor and then just running the cable up through your dash. Honestly, that's gonna be your hardest part, but for us, it was super simple to just pop that panel off and snake the cable up through it. So it shouldn't be too hard for you either, but let's go ahead and show you how we did it. Now, the first step in our installation is gonna be finding our OBD2 port which you can see on the Silverado right down here, right under our steering column. We're gonna take our plug, we'll plug that in, and then we're gonna kinda of trace this up through our dash, just so that we don't have this wire hanging out. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll need a trim panel tool, and we'll just pop off this side panel right here because that's gonna allow us to kinda of skirt it behind there so we don't have that in the way. All right, this side panel is just kinda of held in place with some push pins. So you can kind of just slowly work it off. You can get it right by the push pin. It kind of makes it a little bit easier to uh, pry against. It's coming off pretty good. There you go. And one last one at the bottom. Now with that removed, we can snake our cable up through the side here. And I'm just gonna kinda keep it on the edge. So we've got a little bit of room for it to pop out right about here. All right, I only wanna have just enough for it to reach our monitor. So I'll probably leave it right about there. So you can kinda bundle up that excess cable either inside of this or you can kind of zip tie it up so i'd probably zip tie it right here i've got another wire running across and that'll just kind of keep it out of the way so it's not in the way of your brake pedal or your parking brake you don't want to accidentally kind of catch on that as you're trying to drive around and once that's in place we can go ahead and just put our panel back in on just push those pins right back in place and that'll hide that and now we can start hooking up our monitor our monitor is going to come with a suction cup and we're just going to slip that right on there. That's going to hold it up to our windshield so that we can easily see our display. We'll just pop that on, like it right about there, and we'll just push that little lever up and that's going to lock that suction cup on. And on the back, it's going to have an HDMI port. We'll plug in our cable that we just routed through our dash. And as you can see, our monitor's reading and it's going to load up and we can kind of keep an eye on what our settings are. It's just going to ask us to agree to their user manual and then we can select what vehicle type we have. We have a GM Chevy and it's just going to have us make sure that our ignition is in the on or run position and that we have selected a GM and Chevy and asking if that's correct so we can hit yes. 
and it's going to start initializing so that it can read exactly what we have going on. Just keep hitting enter, just kind of doing some startup stuff. All right, now you can see just idling here, we're hitting an RPM of close to 600. Uh, it tells us our battery life, uh, showing that we're only getting zero miles per hour. And we can start kind of going through some of these settings on here. So you can also change the display to show you your temperature and then also you can have your miles per hour up there as well. All right, if we hit our home button, it's gonna go through our main menu, let you change some of the settings in it. Uh, if you wanna go forward, you gotta hit this back button, which is a little backwards from how you think it would be. Um, you can set it up to different layouts, so we'll go with that. Uh, let's go digital and we go back. And it's just going to show you different uh, settings there. We can go through uh, records. We can do a performance test, uh, any data that it takes on it. So this one does take up to 20 minutes of data and logs it and then kind of gives you a better diagnostic of it. Uh, we can look at our diagnostics, our mileage coach, uh, manage manager, and our settings. And then it's going to also have a help setting so you can kind of get some help with it if you don't know exactly what you're doing. All right, we'll go ahead and select a performance test. We'll do a zero to 60. So you definitely want to make sure that you are in an area where you can uh, do that or with a quarter mile, definitely make sure you're in a safe area to actually drive. Um, well, let me just go with horsepower. Well, I think that about does it for today's look at the Edge Insight CS2 comprehensive gauge display. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.